Hey, we wanted to thank our early backers. As we inch closer to 50% of our goal, we want you to share and tweet, uh, post our campaign so that we can get your friends involved and we can blast through that goal and bring the unlimited e-bike to production. So we also wanted to show you a very casual installation on one of our bikes to show you really how simple and easy it is to mount it on any bike. All right, so here we have an Orbea urban bike, what's called a 29er or also uh, in some countries 28 inches or 700C also. It's the same wheel size for all these bikes. Uh, and so we'll be installing the unlimited e-bike kit on this bike. All you need for the bike to have is, as explained on our campaign page, open dropout forks and a water bottle mount for this bike. If your bike does not have a water bottle mount, like a Brompton or many uh, folding or cargo bikes, we also provide a mount adapter to mount it onto a tube. Uh, so we'll be changing out the front wheel, installing the battery in the bottle water mounts and putting on the pedal sensor. The first thing we'll do is we'll remove the front wheel. For that, we'll remove the quick release Unscrew it a little bit so it goes over the lips on the fork and take off the wheel. We'll set up on the fork so that it stands on its own and then we have our front wheel. We'll now need to remove our disc brake of our original wheel and move it over to our motor wheel. The tire, we don't have to do that because our tire, our wheel already comes with tire pre-installed. So we don't have to get our hands dirty. To remove the brake, we basically take a standard bicycle multi-tool and then use either the Allen or the torque wrench on it to undo all the bolts that hold the brake on. Once all of your bolts have been removed, take off the disc. Then you install your disc onto your motor wheel and put in your bolts. So now we'll install the motor wheel onto the bike. For that, we remove the nuts and the washers and slide it into the fork, making sure to align the disc brake. Once it's mounted, we put in the washers and then the nuts. And we tighten it with a spanner wrench or a 15 millimeter making sure that it is properly tight. Once our wheel is on, we adjust the caliper so that it smoothly uh, spins and doesn't bind with the disc. Now that we have our front motor wheel installed, we'll go over installing the battery into the water bottle bosses of the bike. We take our quick release mounting plate, bolt it on to the water bottle mounting bolts using also an Allen wrench in our, in our bicycle multi-tool or just a standard um, L-type Allen wrench. And finally, open the quick release cam so that it can take in our battery pack. We grab our battery pack. This is the XR battery pack that will give you up to 80 kilometers or 50 miles of range. And it's made with a, with a sliding rail so that you can mount it to the quick release mounting plate uh, at whatever height you want. You can slide it in or out, so this really makes it fit your bike in the perfect position. On this bike, it really fits really nicely right in the middle. And then once it's installed, we'll grab the wire from the motor. This is the only wire that we need to plug in. And then we'll guide it just like a brake line, fit it to the battery pack. Then we'll grab one of these included clips and we'll use it to secure the line to the bicycle's fork so that it nicely routes and allows us to turn the handlebars and that it doesn't get in the way of the wheel. The final step in the installation is to mount our wireless pedal sensor. And this is really what sets our, the unlimited system apart from other systems. You don't need to run any wires and it will mount to really any bike with any type of cranks, any type of pedals. It's just a matter of grabbing the rubber band and your pedal sensor, placing it on the cranks and then using that rubber band to secure it. And it really doesn't matter at what height on the crank arm it goes, or if it goes on your right or left crank arm, it's all done automatically, and it, it will sense your pedaling regardless of where it's installed. To test it out, to make sure everything is running smoothly, we can go out for a ride outside, or we can grab the handlebar, 
Let's raise it up a little bit and give it a quick pedal. And we can see that the motor is accelerating and then it's ready to go. So that was our quick update. We want to thank you for your support and ask you to share with your friends, family, and on social media so that we can blast past our campaign goal and bring the unlimited e-bike kit to production.